What is going on guys, it's Waffa here and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off, we actually did a lot of really cool stuff. We bought some chickens finally and we even uh, planted some seeds over here as well. You see we have the, uh, I think that's a rare seed right there. I also got a bunch of foraging seeds for fall over there going. I believe this uh, preserving jar should be done pretty soon if not like right now basically, right? Uh, yeah, probably. I'm like at the end of last episode. We had that thing done We're actually able to get the stuff out of that so definitely want to keep an eye on that We also bought some chickens like I said right there So we have these guys inside here definitely want to come inside of here and uh, pet them every now and then And I did make a mistake of, of putting like four different things of hay over here So apparently whenever you have this thing full of heckin hay you can't get any hay out of this dispenser thing over here So kind of have to just kind of wait for all the chickens in there to eat all that hay And then we'll be able to use the dispenser all over again, right? So I guess we'll just have to wait and see uh, I think someone said it was supposed to be like what two days or something like that so maybe by the end of the episode while we're doing our outro or something like that we'll actually have uh we'll actually be able to get more hay out of that thing so either way as you can see it, it is currently raining right now i don't have to worry about watering anything over here which is great uh, i do want to put up a couple things in my inventory because remember we did get a mission or a quest or something like that last episode or the episode before or something like that where was that yeah this one right here it's the final day to do this one i'm looking for someone to bring me 30 copper ores for inspection uh 320 dollars on delivery or gold and uh, you get to keep the gold, or you get to keep the ores after Clint inspects them. So he wants to get 30 copper ores, so I'm kind of wanting to go over to the mines, like, right now. And that's why I keep pausing right now, so I don't have time passing super duper fast, right? Uh, also, last episode, we had, like, a special... Oh, I actually, I can show it right here. Uh, where was it? It was around here, like, right underneath Mayor Lewis's house. There's a new uh, bulletin board over there for special requests. I think Robin built it, and then Mayor Lewis just kind of watched... <laughs> But uh, basically that's for like bigger missions and stuff like that. I think right now we have one for Robin where we give her a thousand stone and then another one for I think Linus. He wants us to, to go fishing and, and pick up trash out of the rivers and the lakes and whatnot, right? So I, I did read you guys comments last episode saying, yeah, you should definitely try to do the, the clean up the community or whatever it's called uh, mission for Linus because it's going to be a lot more doable than the, uh, the the mission to try and get a bunch of heckin' stone. Even though we are going to the mines this episode, like right now, uh, even though we are going to the mines, we're not we're not going to get anywhere near a thousand stone, I'm sure, right? And yep, there's that jam over there that's done, which is great. Uh, anything else over here? Why did I put up the wood and the sap and stuff right there? I don't know. Oh, look at our dog right there. Y'all might as well pet him. I don't know. It, it's been a while since we pet him, so there you go. Uh, also, speaking of this periwinkle right here, he was like, <laughs> no one said anything about the periwinkle, but I kind of just saw it right there. Uh, but that periwinkle, I did get a comment saying to, to get all the crap pots that we have all around the heckin' place and just kind of put them over here on our base because apparently it doesn't matter where we put them, we get, uh, like the same stuff out of them, uh, whether it's in the ocean or inside of the, uh, by the way, do I want to, yeah, I'll put that right there. In the ocean and lake or inside of a river, we get the same stuff, which does make sense. I do remember, uh, like, actually, I don't remember anything specific coming out of the, uh, like the lake crab pot or the ocean crab pot. Seems like pretty much every one of them gave us a little bit of something. Uh, either way, I do want to put up a uh, spice berry, spice berry a jelly. Yeah, apparently if you want to get like really good money, I don't know where to put this, by the way. Uh, I think, what did someone say? Cauliflower? I think that's supposed to be like the most expensive. I don't think we have any cauliflower, unfortunately. Uh, if we did, I think we wanted to give that to someone that wanted it a while ago. But yeah, I'm not able to do that right now. Spice berry jelly. Maybe I'll put in the foraging uh, chest out here. Which, speaking of such, uh, I did get comments, multiple comments from people saying, hey, if you get the, uh, oh yeah, do we have to go to the heckin' thing over there to get the mushrooms? Uh, put that inside there, at least for right now. Oh yeah, speaking of mushrooms, I definitely want to keep those mushrooms in my inventory for this cave adventure, because of course those things are actually pretty decent at giving you, uh, like, food and stamina and whatnot, right? So that's pretty cool. But for right now, uh, is that everything that I wanted to, yeah, oh yeah, let's put up the, uh, the watering jar. And yeah, I did want to make a chest. Next time I went to the, uh, to the mines, I did want to put a chest, like, outside the elevator. Someone's commented that for a while now. I think we just need 50, uh, 50 wood there, so. Yep, boom. So if we put that there, we could actually put all the stuff up inside there, especially if we're about to, like, die or, uh, pass out or whatever. We could just put up the items inside there, or we could just use it as extra storage. And by the way, what, what, what should I put in there now? We could put anything in there. We could put either fruits or vegetables in there. I don't know what I want to put in there right now, though. Do we have any, uh, like, if I put... I don't know, what if you put a hot pepper in there? You get some, like, pickled peppers. You know what, let's do it. Can I do that? I think so, right? Yeah, you could, yep, you could put either fruit or vegetables in there, which is really cool. Uh, real quick, though, I am curious. Yeah, there's still four right there. Man, I thought those, like, go down, but no. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow there will only be three of those little hay things over there, but either way, yep, we have a few mushrooms over here, which is great. Uh, do not eat them, golly, at least not right now. <laughs> there you go, grab these. And I uh, definitely want to keep the common mushrooms in my inventory. Use those. 
for the actual, uh, like, cave adventure. And then, of course, uh, how much were... Yeah, 38 energy and 17... I mean, like, it's not bad. Not, like, groundbreaking or anything like that, though, but, uh... There you go, and there you go. And then, yeah, we did make another Scarecrow last episode, too. I did say I wanted to place that down. I don't know why I didn't place one down. Uh, why am I not... There you go. I don't know why I wasn't able to place one down there for a second, but there you go. 9.50 a.m. Is there anything else I want to do real quick before we go over to the mines? Mm, maybe. I'm like, I definitely do want to do the community cleanup thing, but because we could do that, like, a whole week, we, we like, it's going to go away on Monday, right? And it's Thursday right now, so we have plenty of time before that actually happens. Look at that. We actually have some mushrooms over here, too. Boom. So let's grab those. Uh, but yeah, I definitely want to do that one over the one that where you have to get a thousand or something like that. A stone. That's a lot more doable. Because uh, apparently all you have to do is just go fishing and pick up trash. <laughs> you guys know how good I am at that, right? Anyways, it looks like we have some worms here. Blip, and we got another book. I don't know how many books are over at the uh, the library. I'm like, it's been a while since we've gone there and read anything. And I'm pretty sure we found at least one, if not two more books on top of that one we just found right there. So either way, 10 a.m. going into the uh, to the thing. Oh, wow, there's a gold star mushroom right there. Oh, yeah, I did get a comment from someone saying, uh, yeah, I might as well put it like right here, right? Can you even? Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, perfect. Uh, but also remember, because we're trying to get 30 uh, copper ore here, we need to go from either zero or like one to 40. Anything over 40 will get iron more often. Anything under 40 will get, uh, what's it called? Uh, copper more often. So maybe we'll go to like level 20, start out at level 20. Maybe. Mm, maybe level 30. Yeah, let's go to level 30. There you go. I forget what uh, biomes are. Oh, whoops. Oh, I guess we'll have to go down. I forget what biomes this one is. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. Boom. Immediately right off the bat. Copper right there. Boom. Two copper right there. Just, oh, there's a little rock golem guy over there, though. We need to watch out. Oh, I forgot to bring torches. I literally had to torch my inventory just a minute ago. Man. Oh, there's that golem guy. There we go. Okay, we got him. Nice. All right, let's get this broken. Boom. And we got cave carrots right there. Not bad. Not bad. I guess if anything... Ah, uh, yeah, I can't grab that lantern there, unfortunately. Man. I can't really see too well. And there's a guy right there I see. I see his eyes moving. That's that's the only thing. Is that a... Oh, nice. Another way down right there. Cool. What in the world? Why am I picking up? Why am I holding the heck in oars right there? I can't see a thing. There's another one right there. I can barely see their green eyes just glowing right there. There we go. No, wait. No, no. There he is. Oh, man. We're taking some damage right there. We need to watch out. Man, I'm not seeing any more copper around here. I might just go down. Yeah, let's go down. I can barely see that. Oh, wow. Look at that copper right at the bat. Nice. And a way down right at the bat, too. Cool. All right. Well, let's just... Go left and right here, see if we can find any more copper. What are we on right now? We're at 7 copper out of the 30 that we need, right? So that's good. Good progress there. I guess if anything, we can just go down here and... Well, at least there's a lantern right there lighting that up. That's good. Oh, man, look at that. We actually found a wild mushroom right there. Cool, and there's a golem chasing after me. Ooh, we got amethyst. And I think quartz right there, too. And more uh, copper right there. Perfect. I do believe we're still able to get copper. I have, like, regular stone and stuff here. So, that, I'm like, it makes... Oh, whoops. It does make sense to continue uh, mining that, right? But this bat here. Where in the world is it? I don't know, but I'm going to keep breaking these. Clean up both pathways. Path aways. Ah, oh, ran to the bat right there. It keeps running into me. Out! There you go. And boom. Got him. Nice. Got his bat wings there as well. Nice. And, uh, yeah, we can just go straight down right now, right? I don't think we need to uh, keep going down here, but I kind of... Just for curiosity's sake. Even though I don't have the torch, I can't see at all. Seems there's any more potential copper or anything like that. And there's another golem guy right there. Boom! Oh, I hit him with the pickaxe. You think he can do more damage with that? Maybe I am. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Oh! Boom, got him. And then boom. I mean, I got some iron ore from that uh, golem guy. Cool. And bah, got him. Nice. <laughs> All right. What about this right here, though? Is that going to... No, that's just down. Okay. Okay, so it looks like it's just a square shape area down here. So we just go back up. There's already a little, little, little pathway right here. So might as well go back down. We're currently at 10 right now. Not bad. And there's two things of copper right on the screen. Might as well go grab that. And a way down already. Nice. All right. We're making great progress over here, you guys. I don't know if we're uh, ever going to get a better pickaxe than this anytime soon. It's going to be pretty expensive for trying to get that much iron. And I'm not even in the right area to get iron. And there's an earth crystal over there, right? Is that uh, I think that's an earth crystal. Am I? Oh, man. I got two of them. Yeah. I think that's that foraging boost coming to play right there. Where, like, every now and then we get double the foraging items, which is really, really cool. I think, uh, I think that's it for this layer. So, boom. Oh, man, look at this. Surely we're going to come across a layer that has... Oh, man, I'm way down already. That's amazing. Uh, but two things of copper right here. We're at 16. We're already over the halfway mark. Amazing. And there's even more right here. Awesome. And we're at 18. Uh-oh. Well, if anything, the smoke or whatever right here that's kind of bringing in a bunch... Of oh, man, even... Oh, my gosh, look at all that copper. That is perfect. I need that copper. Boom, kill the bug. Get the bug meat or whatever there. I mean, I have so much bug meat, too, by the way. Like... Oh, okay, there you go. 
trying, I'm trying to watch out for bats and stuff. I can, I can hear them. It's just that they're black and they kind of blend in with the end. Oh man, that guy too. Yeah. The golem guys, the gray rock looking golem guys with the green eyes. Oh, yep. They're the bats. Two of them right there. There we go. Break that. Nothing there though. 24. Uh, on oh my God. See, that, that's the bat event or whatever right there with the smoke kind of warning me. And just. <laughs> I kill the bats and then I can way down appears right there. That's amazing. I love when that does that. But uh, we're at 24 copper right now, which is amazing. It's only 4 p.m. So we've got plenty of time. I think there's a bat behind me right there. So I do need to watch out for that. Boom. Kill that bug. And I'm curious if there's going to be any more because I know like next layer is 35. So uh, why can't I? Oh, it's, I think. Okay. I think there's this piece of stone that's kind of blocking right there. Okay. But uh, oh, man, there's something I can't tell what's hitting me there, but I'm at half health. Definitely want to eat a mushroom. Boom, eat the common mushroom. Might might even eat the heckin' ice cream right now as well. I might be in that dire straight. Whoa! Omni Geode right there. Nice! Man, I knew it was a bad idea to come down here without a can <laughs> torch. I literally had one randomly early on. Okay, whatever. Let's go. Oh man, right as a bat is attacking me. Oh wait, no, this is a uh, lair that we can explore. That's good. Because it seemed like uh, every five layers or whatever is like a, just a random. Oh, I guess maybe that's every ten layers it does that, huh? Or it's just like a layer that's literally nothing but the way down. Or something like that, but I cannot see a thing. I don't know if it's going to be any brighter for you guys, though. It might be a little bit easier for you guys to see, but I'm just trying to go off, like, the shine of those rocks right there to try and navigate around and try and find out where I am and where I need to go. There you go. Get around that. I'm like, if anything, we are getting a little bit of stone from the stone that we're breaking that's kind of blocking our way, and I guess that's it for this. Can I get... I'm like, I, oh, man. See, look at that. You can find copper here, randomly. I guess, if anything, we can go down... I don't know if we can go on the elevator. Oh, man, a geode there. Nice. We got an Omni Geode and a regular geode there. Nice. Don't know if we found the way down just yet, though. Man, 6 p.m. now. I go up here to break these. I have a feeling that one of these is going to be the way down. To at least go to level 41 or whatever. Right, man, another piece of copper right there. We're at uh, 26. Not bad. And a stone that looked like a rib or something there for a second. Man. I might just go to, like, layer, uh, layer, like, 32 or something like that again. Or 30 again. Because uh, all we have to do is get, like, four more, and we're good to go. And I do want to go... Oh, yeah, I'm at 31. Oh, I don't... Oh, I think... Yeah, I think it might be, uh... Oh, wait! No, I left the mine, man. But I think... I think because we already explored that, it's just going to be the same stuff there. Okay. Oh, man, yeah, we got the jungle theme going on right now. Cool. Don't know if we're going to find any copper down here, though. Nope, I don't think so. Okay. Man, well, hey, look at that. At least we're getting some mixed seeds and stuff. That's good. Oh, the way down. Perfect. Any copper here? Oh, yep, yep, yep. Copper out of the bat. A lot of it, too. Look at this. Seems like we get two from each one guaranteed. So, uh, oh, never mind. But <laughs> we got one right there. But hey, boom. We have enough. We have enough for the mission. I think that's why that dinged right there. Cool. Leave the mine. And I believe Clint probably by now or something. Oh, what is that? A bomb? <laughs> I got a bomb. Ex uh, generate some explosion. Watch out. Yeah, let's not throw that bomb down. You guys you got to leave. <laughs> Well, let's go down uh, to the to the saloon. Sure that Clint's going to be down there. I'm, I'm keeping my eyes peeled right now for any potential worms. I don't remember seeing any worm comments last episode. <laughs> That's such a weird thing to say. I don't know if I've seen any worm comments. <laughs> but uh, let's go down there because we did get 30 uh, copper ore like straight up right there. It wasn't copper ore that we already had and then uh, whatever else. So we should have done it the right way right there, I believe. Oh, yeah, and then I did get comments of you guys uh, saying, because I think at the end of last episode, or maybe during the actual episode, I didn't check the luck today, unfortunately. Uh, oh, hey, soggy newspaper, I don't need that trash anyways. <laughs> there you go. Clint, hey, I have your mission. You brought the ores I requested. Great. I like to inspect local ores from time to time to keep track of quality and abundance. Let me just take a look at these. Hmm, I see. Thank you. You can keep these ores. They're of good quality. <laughs> and here's your payment, as promised. And there you go. We should have gotten some money right there, right? How much was it? 320? Wait, what in the world? Business has been slow lately. Okay, well, I don't know if he's like kind of alluding to us not, not letting him upgrade our tools and stuff like that, but I'm like, I'm pretty sure we did that pretty recently. Yeah, 320 gold right there. Not bad. And I think, do we get a uh, good like relationship points with him as well? I think so, right? Uh, where is he on this? Like, he's pretty close to the top, isn't he? No, I, th I guess not. I thought it was a lot higher than he actually is. Where is he? Oh, wait, I must have passed him. Man, I don't know where in the world. Oh, man, look at that. Penny's at the top now. Well, well tied with Demetrius, but still. Uh, Shane is right there, still in second second place in terms of people I could actually date. Uh, I don't know where in the world. Oh, there's Clay. Oh, he's got one heart right there. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow he's going to be two hearts or something. I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Hey, there's Leah, I think. Yeah, that's Leah, I think, right? Yeah, it is. Hey! <laughs> 
<laughs> Maybe I should cook something new and spicy today. Some or <laughs> something new and exciting today. Something spicy. Well, I know someone who likes spicy stuff. Myself, as well as Shane. Yeah, I remember last episode we also had like a, a heart event, as they're called. Or is it called? I think it is. Where like I guess if you have a, like a certain amount. Oh man, a broken CD right there. If you have a certain amount of uh, relationship points with someone, uh, eventually you'll have like a random cutscene. And I guess if you walk into a specific area of the map with like during a specific time of the day with a specific amount of like relationship points with someone, then you'll get that cutscene. I think that's why that happened when we went to Marnie's Ranch, with, which, by the way, a big thing happened in Mar Marnie's Ranch. I didn't even notice while I recorded last episode. And I noticed that while editing and reading through all the heckin' comments, you guys are pointing it out like crazy last episode. <laughs> but uh, Marnie's Ranch which is closed right now, unfortunately, had the purple shorts for uh, Mayor Lewis. What was that mission? Yeah, Mayor Shorts right there. Mayor Lewis has lost his purple shorts. He's asking you to find and return them discreetly. Find and return Mayor Lewis's purple shorts. They were in the, at the heckin' Marty's ranch area, like right above the, uh, the, the area where you buy the chickens and stuff like that from her. I don't know if that's like her bedroom, which it, it raises a lot of heckin' questions if it is. <laughs> And Mayor Lewis lost his shorts inside there, like, come on, that's, that's a little bit sus. But I think we need to have a better relationship with Marnie in order to actually go into there and actually grab the shorts. So kind of want to see what our relationship with her is, because I think it's like basically nothing, right? I don't think we've done like anything with her. Well, one, yeah, one heart. I, I guess if anything, we can give her some more stuff, such as, I, I don't know. <laughs> All we've given her is just salmon berry, and she didn't even like that. Okay, whatever. Anyways, this bulletin board, yeah, this is the, this is the what's it called, like the special requests board or whatever. Yeah, community cleanup, that, that's the one that seems a lot more likely, a lot more uh, doable for us. I have an idea. There's a lot of trash in the water. Why don't we fish some out to make the valley more beautiful, Linus? Four days left to do that. Okay, but I'll accept that quest right there. And I assume, yeah, we're not able to do the Robin's resource rush. Maybe we could do that a little bit later. Uh, someone said that's like really late game stuff. You definitely want to try and do that a lot later into the game. But for right now, um, I kind of, I guess we'll get rid of the fiber at least for right now. Then uh, while we're here, I might as well grab the crab pots back. How do I get that back? Oh, there you go. Might as well grab the crab pots back and we can put them back at the farm and get that going, right? Uh, oh man, I hope there's no, oh hey, there's worms right there though. I hope there's not too many seashells and stuff up here. Eh, it's just, what is that called again? Clay? Not that big of a deal. I don't care about that. Soggy newspaper right there, though. I'm like, I don't need that. Like, if, if I can get that out of there and... Ah, oh, man. We have a little bit of stone. I kind of want to keep that bug meat. I'm like, it's not that big of a deal. Mixed seeds. That's good to have. Uh, I just, I'm like, I don't want to eat these, right? I guess we'll get rid of the bug meat. We probably have plenty of that. But uh, I just need to get the newspaper and then I'll just trash it immediately. <laughs> just so I can... There you go. So I can actually get the crab pot. So there you go. So we have two of those. We can go over to the lake and grab the third... Uh, but I'm pretty sure we just make them too, right? I don't think it's that big. Oh, yeah, we can make cherry bombs too. I forgot about that. Warp Totem Beach. Yeah, we can make that as well. Lightning Rod. Oh, yeah, the Tapper. Apparently, uh, I have a blue Oh, yeah, you know, someone commented saying that now that we actually have like a pathway going from basically Marnie's Ranch up to our farm area, we should actually cover that like, like pathway up with actual path stuff. What is it called again? Like, like, literally called pathway or something like that. Yeah, wood path or, like, stone path or whatever. Uh, probably cheaper to do it with wood. I don't know. We have a little bit of stone now. Maybe I'll make it out of cobble uh, just to make it look cool. I don't know what we currently have, but it might be that gravel right there, which is also stone. I think it makes more sense to make it out of cobblestone make it look a little bit better, right? But, yeah, it's saying to do that just so it doesn't get overgrown with a bunch of trees and rocks and uh, weeds and whatnot over time. Which makes sense, and of course it'll actually look a little bit cooler too. I don't know if there's actually any coral over here. It does seem like the coral has slowed down a ton since summer stopped. I think that's the thing right there. Yeah, it's like a mussel or something like that right there. Which I think we can grab, right? Do we have enough? Yep. Oh, two mussels right there. Nice. We got double cool stuff. And I am looking right now, looking for worms, looking for other corals and whatnot, and I'm not seeing anything. It's 10.30 right now, though. We need to head back home, and yeah, it's going to be the end of this day. I don't think there's anything today, but I think tomorrow... We can look at the calendar on the way back home over up here. I think tomorrow is Sam's birthday, right? The blonde guy? I think so. And I don't know if we know anything that he likes. So it, it might be safe just to give him like a random berry or something like that. Or uh, fruit or vegetable. Because apparently those are like just safe items. Yeah, Sam. Sam. No, 17. Wait, who was it then? No, it was Elliot, wasn't it? Yeah, Elliot. Yeah, fifth of fall. He did. Yeah, he does like the two of us. We do have those. He doesn't like salmon berry. I don't know, if they don't like salmon berry, maybe they won't like 
like if I give him like a like like a blueberry or something like that. I don't know, maybe. Oh, and then we have another quest over here randomly. Yeah, it's Elliot's birthday tomorrow, as we saw earlier. But uh, let's see, what's this? Trying to keep the art official alive. I'll pay a hundred gold to it. And if oh yeah, we saw this at the end of the last episode. Get two small mouth bass for Willie. Get a hundred gold. Uh, I don't know where we could find that, but I guess we'll accept the quest at least for right now because we are going to go fishing tomorrow because we do have that mission for uh, Linus to try and clean up the, the lakes and stuff like that, right? So that's going to be a really cool mission for us to do. Last episode, we did cut down a couple trees over here. Someone said, multiple people said, that these trees over here, like outside of the farm, regrow on their own. But it doesn't make sense to cut down these right here because uh, these trees over here, you could use them for tapping and getting sap and... and maple syrup and whatever else out of right uh you can put a tapper on each one of them uh so i guess we'll just have to wait for them to regrow i guess like right there and like right there i think so i don't know if there's any foraging things right here it's so dark i can't see a thing <laughs> but uh let's go back to the farm it's almost midnight right now i don't think we have any uh penalties by going to bed at straight up midnight but uh i'll still try and sell oh yeah then we have omni geode right there Muscle, I guess. Yeah, let's check this real quick, though. Yeah, nothing there. Bomb, nothing. <laughs> the community center will want a bomb. So that's good. Copper ore, yeah, definitely want to smelt that up. Uh, we do have coal right now, which is great. So we can do that. Get that going. Because I do believe we need copper. Is it copper ore or is it ingots? To get more preserving bins. Or, uh, jar. Wait, what was it that I was thinking that needed copper? Oh, wait, well, yeah, it was the tapper. Yeah, two copper bar, yeah. Okay, so we can do that. We have two furnaces here, but I only have one coal, so I guess we'll just get those going right now. And then uh, in the morning, we'll, we'll take care of even more coal. Wow, we have to water all of our crops. If it is still uh, not snowing, <laughs> I guess it will snow uh, next season, right? But uh, if it is still raining tomorrow. Omni Geode, kind of want to keep that in my inventory. Bat wings, other stuff. What in the world? Oh, I picked this thing up right here. Put that back. There you go. Uh, what am I doing here? Put up anything else that kind of stacks up. There you go coal mixed seeds cave care i'm like that's just food right like it's not that big of a deal if uh we eat that right now or what but i guess we could just keep it right and then uh we have like mushrooms and stuff i, I do want to put up over here oh that's a gold star so i want to put that up in the other one so uh i guess we'll put the cave carrot up in there it makes sense then the other stuff like the mussels yeah i definitely want to sell that get a little bit of money i doubt we're going to get very much and then yeah we have mixed seeds too uh we do have some tilled land over here i i forget what mix does mixed seeds I guess it only gives you crops. I don't know if it gives you any foraging things. So I guess if that's the case, we could plant it over here. Boom. Hey, look at that. We got some copper done over here. Cool. Uh, so let's get more of that going. Boom. Boom. Perfect. And let's go put the uh, these up over here. So the crab pots go. Wait, can I not put them here? Oh, wait, I can. Okay. Well, they're... Uh, I don't know. I kind of want to pick them up. Here, I'll pick that up. I guess we can't do it if we're looking over the... Oh, wait. We can do it right here. There we go. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. Kind of want to get down this tree over here as well. What time is it right now? 1 a.m. Jeez, literally every day going to bed at like 1 a.m. <laughs> Jeez. Get down this tree just because it's kind of in the way. And then maybe in the morning, because we do have a decent amount of stone, uh, we could actually uh, make those stone paths from up here down to the Marnie's Ranch area. And then when we're down there, I don't know if we're going to have a good enough relationship with her to, uh, to talk to her about the whole purple shorts thing from Mayor Lewis and whatnot, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But we do have plenty of uh, copper ingots now, right? So we can make some of those tapper things. I guess we'll just have to de designate a certain amount of trees, certain trees to be like, do not cut these trees down because we're going to be using them for sap and maple syrup and whatever else, right? Only 45 gold from each gold star muscle. Eh, not that big of a deal on the periwinkle. Pfft, 20 gold trash. <laughs> and it was the fifth day of fall. Let's go get uh, Elliot up present. I think he lives on the beach, right? Like that, like right outside the entrance of the beach. So we should be able to go give him a present pretty easily. Let's put that up there, that, that. Uh, definitely want to put up the gold star mushroom up over here. Just because it is somewhat rare. And I do love the music playing right now. It's so calming. And I think it's different music every season too. So this is like fall specific music playing right now. There's like a horn going right now. Oh yeah, that's five ores every time it does that. Golly, I forgot about that. But just listen to that music. It, it really just sets the mood. Like, sometimes I just want to stop talking. I'm sure you guys want me to do that as well. <laughs> but I may, maybe, maybe just while this is talking, I'll just kind of... Oh, clouded with gusts of wind throughout the day. Okay. I don't know what that really means in terms of, like, farming and whatnot, but... Mildly perturbed today. Luck is not going to be on our side, unfortunately. Ah... <sighs> Maybe I'll get, like, an ASMR voice going on right now. I don't know. What am I going to do with a bomb, by the way? Like, what? Like, I know I'm... D I don't know. I should have left it inside the heckin' caves or something like that. That would have made more sense, right? <laughs> but, uh... What am I doing right now? And I don't, I don't want to let too, too much time pass. I'm trying to make the tappers. Yeah. Let's see. 
I don't think we have that much wood. I guess we'll cut down a couple more trees. That'll give us uh, an opportunity to get more wood as well as to try and figure out what trees are going to survive and what trees are going to go. Oh yeah, and then we do need to water everything over here as well. Just remember to do that. And uh, oh yeah, we have a lot of corn ready too, yeah. Hover over each thing over here, boom. Yeah, a lot of corn is ready to go today. Awesome, and the wheat's ready, I believe, right? Yep, it's got the plus sign down there. Cool stuff. Okay, so the corn is easy to see whenever you see yellow kind of pointing that way and then pointing that way as well. Uh, if it's already been harvested, I think it's only going to be at the top there, which is a really cool way of checking in, of course. Uh, around the sprinkler already has the, um, the rare seed, so it's already getting watered. Don't have to worry about that, right? So uh, what am I doing right now? Oh, yeah, get the scythe, get that a going. And remember, we do get more farming points every time we actually harvest stuff like that, as well as getting the corn. So maybe whenever we go to bed later today, we'll actually get uh, yeah, we'll actually get the farming upgraded and we'll actually have the ability to make the upgrade sprinkler. That one right there, the one that does it in a eight, eight slots around it in a square. That'd be really cool. But uh, for right now, put up all these wheat. Oh, yeah, I did get comments reminding me I shouldn't have uh, sold the the or what did I do. I, I did something with the hops last episode, but uh, we, we still have some over here. We have five silver star. We have one gold star right there. I might have sold the regular ones just to get some money, but I'm like, I'm like, it saved us. We, we, we were able to, in the end, buy those chickens, which makes sense. Definitely want to go pay attention to the chickens here in just a bit as well. I don't know what I could do with the hay right now. Can I use it? Ah, yeah, I, yeah, I could just go over to the chicken coop and go put that there manually. But I do want to do this. Someone did comment as well saying you just, whenever you're standing vertically up and down, you're actually able to water like this and then also this. Like, look at that. Hacks have been enabled. You got, oh, whoops. Wait, how did I do? Oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah, look at that. You're only, I'm able to water all, all nine of those slots right there, but you can't do it sideways, right? I believe they said you can't do it sideways. Oh yeah, well, yeah, see whenever, I, I turn whenever I do that, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. So that's a cool little little trick right there. Very, thank you very much for that. Definitely want to try and implement that a little bit more. Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. Ah, I guess I'll water these individually. Oh, whoa, what are these? Oh, the bok choy's ready, ooh. Now we do need, oh, we got gold star there, awesome. We do need that for the community center, right? Oh, wait, we don't. Wait, we should have... Where's fall crops? Oh, like, yeah, we need eggplant, we need pumpkin, yam. I think we're growing all of those still. Pumpkins, that's going to be the longest one. That's just like the watermelon. It's probably going to be done in the middle of the month or something like that, right? I guess if anything, we can give uh, Elliot, maybe we'll give him a bok choy or something like that. That'd be pretty good. But for right now, let's keep on watering all these things over here. As I'm, uh, how do I, do oh yeah, I have to face this way, but click on this and that's how it works. Yeah, look at that. Like hacks have been, a I don't know if this is technically cheating here. I'm like, I feel like, I'm, when did this game come out? 2016 or something like that? If it is cheating, they should have patched it by now, right? <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to consider this as cheating, so there you go. Then if I look up, I'm able to go, yep, just like that. Awesome. There you go. Man, I really hope that we're actually going to get the, uh, the upgrade for the uh, for the farming. Oh, whoops. I'm not looking up. I really hope we're going to get the upgrade for the farming skill, and then we're just going to be able to make a bunch of heckin' sprinklers. I don't know how expensive that's going to be, by the way, to get all the sprinklers. There you go. And then, uh, oh, whoops, no, look, ah, man, there we go, oh, whoops, missed with this one right here, yeah, see, I still need, there's a lot of, oh, man, <laughs> let it run out of water, and then, yeah, we still have the forging, uh, over here as well, which, by the way, we can test this out right here, yep, and then do it right here, too, yep, amazing, look at that, that is crazy, that's hacks and a, but I'm sure once we get an upgrade, like an iron watering can, and we can do it while looking down, I believe, right, yeah, uh, but once we get an iron watering can, it's probably going to be even more OP. You're probably going to be able to mine or water like four slots at a time instead of just three, right? That's going to be crazy cool. And I'm not seeing any other slots right now. Oh, whoops. That's one right here. Almost got a comment about that one right there. <laughs> but there you go. 10.30 a.m. Not too bad, I guess. Uh, let's put up the scythe. Let's put up the watering can. We still have a bomb and we have two geodes. We have an omni geode and we have a regular one. Definitely want to go over to Clint and see what he's up to. See if uh, we'll get anything good out of that. So for right now, though, we have a gold star bok choy right there. So let's put that up. And we have some regular ones right there. I definitely want to go give that to Elliot while we're in the area, right? Uh, 25 wood. I kind of want to keep that in my inventory. As a reminder, hey, you should you should cut down, I don't know how many trees. I think it's 50, is it 40 or 50 wood or something like that? In order to get, oh man, look at that tree grew right there. Is this, is that dead? I don't know if that tree's, you remember we're growing some sort of tree there a while ago. Hey, look at this. Am I able to get to, hey, look at that, we are actually able to get hay out here. Awesome, I didn't have to wait like multiple days or anything like that, that's cool. I guess you could only uh, use the dispenser whenever it's not four. So uh, once these guys eat like each of those hay over there, it goes down to two the next day, then you're actually able to use this. Hopper is empty, build a side, okay, yeah. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to grab all the hay out of my, oh, whoops. There you go, <laughs> did it the wrong way right there, but uh, also pet these guys, show them some love. 
and uh, age is one month baby. Memers. <laughs> I forgot about the names. Memers and what was the other one? Z something something. Zacha. <laughs> Not as good of a name as Memer. I mean, uh, they were both equally good names. Not as good as a name as Memers, though. <laughs> Don't want them to hear me say that. Hey, we got some more of the uh, similar mushrooms that we got yesterday. Cool. We got that chant chanterelle mushroom and a couple more red mushrooms today. Cool. I did get a comment from someone specifying that that purple mushroom. I don't know if we still have it. It might be up in storage or something like that. And there's Zongus right there. But I think that purple mushroom is for some, like, like friendship pack or something. I forgot. Oh, yeah, there it is right there. So, where would that be? Friendship pack? <laughs> once, once I actually find it right here, I'm, I'm going to be like, why did I call it a friendship pack? <laughs> Blacksmith bundle? Yeah, not that. I guess if anything, we could donate one of the... Because we do have a copper thing in our inventory right now. So, we need to get the red crystal thing. And then, yeah, uh, the gold over here. We don't have enough money for that, unfortunately. Chef's bundle, fodder bundle, enchanter bundle. Yeah, still need uh, apples for the apple tree for that fodder bundle. Oh! Field research bundle. I assume that's what they meant. <laughs> F instead of friendship bundle, it was field research, I guess. <laughs> so we need to do the one with uh, Dimitri's right there. I don't know if there's another bundle over here that also requires a purple mushroom. Maybe there's multiple ones. I don't know. Artisan bundle? No. Man, you only need six, but they give you an option of like ten different things right there. It's crazy. And then quality crops. Yeah, I definitely want to keep... Like, we don't have gold star mounds. We won't, we won't have any gold star pumpkins. And I sold that one gold star parsnip right there. I think we have a couple gold star corn, though, which is good. And then uh, eggs and large goat milk. And then wool and duck egg. Ooh, we could have ducks. Large egg. Large. So we could have a brown or a white egg. So we should have both of those. Once we get cows, we'll have that. I guess if we get goats, we'll have that. And that should cover everything, right? I don't know. Yeah, I'd probably need sheep for that. Uh, the wool, and that should cover everything. Either that or I'll get ducks as well as the uh, the chickens. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but also want to go to Demetrius and, and get that done and over with, right? Chanterelle, put that up. Uh, is that it? Is that all I wanted to do while at home? Uh, I don't know how much stone I have. I guess I can get that pathway at least set up right now. Yeah, we have 49, which is all right. It's not too crazy. Uh, it's noon right now. I'll probably work on that stone path once we actually come back home. Uh, right now, I do want to go over to the blacksmith, Clint. Go over to Elliot, just while I know where he's at, I do see some worms. Hey, look at that, we got plums right there, perfect. Yeah, I, I did get, I don't know, did I mention this yet? I don't know. I did get, oh, and more plums, down. more plums over here, golly! Hold on. What do we, what do we have in the, where is it? Fall foraging. Plum, hazelnut, blackberry, I think we have a blackberry at home. Don't think we have a hazelnut though, so. We're getting pretty close to getting that done. Let's grab this other plum over here. Oh, man, those are two Silver Star plums we have right there, you guys. Cool. And we have a regular one right there, too. Okay, so I can keep the uh, the higher-ranked one. That's going to be great. But I do want to check up on our foraging chest over here. See what's inside. See if there's a... Uh... Oh, man, yeah, we don't have any of them. Ooh. Yeah, we don't have blackberry or the hazelnut, unfortunately. We have the grape, but we don't have the blackberry, unfortunately. I guess if anything, we could put that wild plum randomly. We could put that up, I suppose. That'd be pretty good. And uh, after that, we'll still need to get the hazelnut. I'm like, we're, we're going to go around the map here later this uh, episode in the day and stuff like that. We're, we're going to be able to find hazelnuts and blackberries and stuff like that. And there's a lot of opportunity to forage over here by the actual uh, community center itself, right? So it's not going to be too hard. And I do want to remember, let's fish. Try and actually, uh, and there's Haley right there. I don't think I have trash for her. Let's give her a box. <laughs> I don't know if I want to give her a bomb. Can you actually do that? You can. Oh my gosh. I'm not doing that. <laughs> you know, I kind of want to. Should I do it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I want to get like what happens. Oh, I think. Yeah. Didn't we give uh, we tried to give Clint like cherry bombs, but it would actually like active ac activate them like it would throw them on the ground and like explode. It wouldn't actually give it, gift it to him, unfortunately. Even though it does have the present icon, so. Yeah, I don't want to waste that bomb. That's, that seems like it's going to be a lot more useful in the caves and whatnot, right? So, uh, I guess we're not going to give Haley a bomb. <laughs> Maybe I'll use one of these extra, uh, I don't know, you do need two of them to get a, uh, a tapper thing, so. Like, if I had an odd number of copper bars, I probably would have donated one of them to the, uh, the blacksmith bundle or whatever it's called. I think it's the bolt in here that I need the, uh, Field research. Oh, I put the what? The, I put the purple uh, mushroom up. Man, ah, uh, we maybe we could do that later or some of that. I don't know. <laughs> I need to do a. Uh, what was I doing? Wild well, plum. Okay, yeah, let's do the plum as well. Guess we'll do that. That's going to be over here, right? The uh, that's forging down there, right? I think this is farming up here. Let's see. Hopefully, I remembered everything correctly. Quality. Nope. I added. I added opposite again. 
Yeah, that's eggplants and stuff over there. Golly, it's 2 p.m. right now. I need to hurry the heck up. But I still want to go down there to Clint and see what he's up to. Uh, why do I keep going over there? Like, it's always going to be on the bottom right because it's fall. <laughs> but there you go. Still need blackberries. Still need a hazelnut, unfortunately. So, anyways, let's hurry up. Skididly done daddle all the way down to the bottom right part of the map. We need to go down there before 4 p.m. Because that's whenever Clint is like blacksmith shop closes. I want to go down there to give him an Omni Geode and a regular Geode. I believe the spirits are not in good spirit. Picked up a soggy newspaper from yesterday. Uh, but the spirits are not in good. Wow, that ma You guys remember we have those two magnetized rings or whatever on us? Man, do you guys see the distance that it like suctioned in those broken CDs and stuff like that? Hey, Penny, how you doing? Fall is a sad time of year for me. What? Why is that? Now I kind of want to know, like, what, what about fall makes you sad? I don't know. I don't even know if I want to know. But hey, Clint, let's give you these geodes. There's the Omni Geode. Oh, wow. We got diamonds. No, wait, that's our Aaronite. <laughs> I thought we got diamonds. Oh, man, that, that would have been like, what, 700 buckaroos right there? That would have been good money. Well, we do have this other regular geode here. So uh, what are we going to get out of that? And we got some coal. OK. <laughs> OK, well, Aaronite or whatever. I believe we already gave it to you. Yeah, we already gave it to museum because otherwise I believe it'd say, oh, Donate this to the museum and Gunther can tell you more about it. Uh, so I guess we just keep that. I don't know if we need that for anything. Obviously don't need it for the community center. I don't know if anyone specifically likes Aaronite, but I think for right now I'll, I'll just keep it. I do have a soggy newspaper I can give the Haley though. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that later, but uh, right now let's go through this guy's trash just because why not? Uh, nothing there. Yeah, the spirits are going to get bad spirits or whatever, right? So it's not really going to be. Uh... Oh, yeah, then <sighs> let's go down to Elliot before I can forget because I know I'm going to forget. I'm, go I'm going to be like, oh, man, it's. 4 or 5 p.m. I don't know where Elliot is, and I have a heckin' bok choy. I want to get one for his birthday. <laughs> so let's go down here. At least I know. Oh, wait, yeah. When will we ever see him come back here? Like, at the end of the day and stuff. Like, yeah, you can't go inside. They're uninvented, uh, uninvited right now, unfortunately, man. Are there any worms or anything here, though? Ah, let's see. I'll check. I, I kind of want to check him on the map. Elliot's cabin. It doesn't have any hours there, unfortunately, which that'd be kind of weird. You're just on the outside of your house, you're just, you just have hours on when people can bother you <laughs> and you won't be upset about it. But I think Elliot, I've, I think I've seen him like over here, right? Or up there. I don't think I've seen him in the saloon, right? I don't believe so. Oh, I guess if anything, we could go over to Marnie's uh, thing real quick, just because I know. And it's Friday right now. OK, well, oh, boy. Hey, Leah, uh, let's talk to you again. Do you have a kitchen in your house? No, I do not. And I know you're trying to advertise to me. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to get the heck out of there. But let's go over here to Marnie's ranch. Uh, she close. Okay, she's not. Be all right there. Ah, oh, I'm not good enough friends with Marnie. Yeah, look at that. There are the purple shorts right there. She's right there. I can sneak behind her and everything. Golly. Yeah, see that? Those are the purple shorts for uh, what's his name? The mayor guy, Mayor Lewis. Those are the purple shorts for him. I don't know if I want to. Maybe I do a little bit of forging over here. Just a little bit. Maybe I'll zoom out a little bit as well. I don't know. Oh man, hey, look at that blackberries or whatever that is. Yeah, blackberries, awesome. <laughs> Make it sound like I said that the first time around. Even though I, I literally did say it the first time around. I don't have to edit anything. <laughs> Let's keep looking around. We have a hazelnut we need to find. I heard someone open and close the door right there. I don't know who that would have been. But I kind of want to go over here. We do have some luck sometimes finding stuff down here foraging-wise. So I suppose we can go down here see if we can find a hazelnut randomly. And I am not seeing a thing. I'm like, everything's brown and hazelnuts are brown, so... Maybe they, maybe there are hazelnuts all over the place and I'm just not seeing them because they blend in like a butt cheek. I saw a, a little rabbit down there at the bottom, right? Yeah, well, Elliot's... Uh, is he on his way? He might be on his way home, right? I don't know. I don't know where he goes during the day, but I do know, like, late at night, I'm pretty sure while it's actually dark outside, I'm pretty sure he goes back to his house. Hey, there's Penny and uh, whatever her name is, Jazz. You like... Wait, what? You like my bow, I think she said right there. And we already talked to uh, Penny there, which, by the way, Penny's our best friend. Don't want to forget about that, right? But uh, yeah, I, I still don't see Elliot here. I don't know where he is. Maybe he's hanging out in P. Oh, wait, well, there's Jody. I need to talk to Elliot. I don't know where he is. I think I'll go down anyways. I don't know if he's actually down there, but I guess we'll check. And if he isn't, I guess we could fish and try and pick up trash out of the lake and stuff until he actually does show up. I don't know. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's fish like right here. It should count, right? That work? No. There you go. Hey. So whenever we actually... Oh. Oh, we got seaweed. Does that count? Oh, yeah. Where's the thing? Yeah, community clear. There it is right there. 
uh, gather 20 pieces of trash. Hey, we got, uh, oh, wait. Yeah, we don't even have to do it from the, uh, the, the ocean, right? Like, you just literally have to pick it up out of the trash cans and stuff. Which, isn't that cheating? If you're picking up trash from the trash cans. <laughs> I'm like, you're not really cleaning anything up. It was already there. I don't know. Maybe I'm misinterpreting something. Oh, yeah, maybe it was because we got some trash, like, from... Oh, that count as trash? Joja Cola? I'm like, it kind of is. Nah, it's just 3 out of 20 right there still. Uh, but I think from the crab pots, I think those things gave us some, uh, some points for this. So, that's really cool. Oh, now, the seaweed. That'd be kind of weird if that counts as trash. Yeah, okay, that doesn't. Yeah, the 20 pieces of trash and dump the trash in the recycling bin behind the train platform. There's a rec oh, yeah, isn't there a recycling bin in, like, Mayor Lewis's house or something? No, that's the lost and found. I don't remember a recycling bin behind the train platform, but I guess once we're actually done with that... Uh, actually, we can go there right now, right? Because it's like a little bar that we have to fill up, so I guess we'll go there. Oh, yeah, you know what? Can I just go home? Oh, I doubt I could do that. I doubt I could go home and just grab the literal trash and, like, the broken CDs and stuff that I have just sitting over there. Oh, man. Yeah, I guess I'll have to eat some mushrooms or something here in just a second. Or that ice cream. It is 8 p.m. It's relatively early-ish. Ah, I don't know if I'm getting anything there. Okay, well, we're almost out of energy, so I might as well eat the ice cream here in just a bit. But we do still have a... Oh, then, but... Man. Okay, eat the ice cream. I know there's a lot and stuff there, but, uh... Eh, it gave us a decent amount. Oh, whoops. Man, I'm looking in the wrong direction. Yep. Hey, there we go. Oh, whoops, man. Keep accidentally clicking and stuff here. Wait, what? how did that not work? Wait, what is happening? There we go. What in the world was happening right there? Anyways, I guess we'll just keep fishing here and trying to get trash, literal trash, and then once we actually, boom. So, okay, seaweed, whatever, that doesn't count. Once we actually find more literal trash or soggy newspaper or broken CDs or whatever, I keep getting seaweed. I don't need that. Maybe I'm just not having good luck in this little river right here. Maybe if I go into the actual ocean, I'll find some trash. Oh, a fish. Oh, this is a relatively easy one. Don't have to move it too much, but uh, oh, I messed up the perfect there. Golly. Come on. Yes, we got it. It is an anchovy. Hey, didn't we need that for something? Might have been for the community center, but I know Willy. Maybe it was Willy. Maybe it was someone else. I don't remember. Oh, another hit right there. Nice. But I do know Willy. Or someone wanted us to get anchovies, I believe, for a random, like, bulletin board mission, right? Like a while ago. Oh, man, another. An albacore. What? These must be because I'm getting them during the fall or something like that, right? Because I believe, or maybe it's during the nighttime or something like that. I think someone says something. Like, I, 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 I was, like, questioning, like, oh, I wonder if, like, different times of day and different parts of the year to give you different fish. I think they said that is true. So maybe it is because we're fishing at night during the fall time. In a river, we're getting these things? I don't know. I'm like, this kind of leads out to a heck of an ocean, so I don't know if this still technically counts as an ocean here. A driftwood, that count? What is that? We got, hey, we're, we're four out of 20 right there. Then, uh, still need to dump 20 pieces of trash there as well. Well, if I see Elliot, I'm like, I don't know. Where in the world is he? <sighs> I just need to keep my eyes peeled. I'm starting to feel exhausted already. Ah, I just had some ice cream, but I just have to eat some mushrooms and stuff here in just a bit, and we'll be good to go. And yep. hey, hey, we got a hit. I'm like, I know we're trying to get trash, and whenever we're trying to get trash, we're not getting like any trash at all. <laughs> but uh, at least we're getting some fish and stuff here. Oh, boom! Speaking of such, it's an albatross. Yeah, or albacore, not an albatross. That'd be a bird, right? <laughs> let's see. Let's eat some mushrooms, though. Uh, common mushroom. There you go. Yep. And how much does that do? Eh, not bad. I guess I'll get a couple more. And there you go. It's 10:50. Yeah, we have a little bit of time. I guess I'll eat one more, and that'll be it. And then uh, let's keep fishing here. I'm still not, I don't know where in the world, whatever his name is. Like, I guess I'm just not good enough friends with him that I know where he hangs out during the day. I only know where he lives and goes home at night. Unless he's like sick or something like that and he's in his house, but I'm not good enough friends to go inside while he's in there. I don't know. Either way, I guess I'll just keep fishing here. I don't know how much time I want to waste <laughs> with me literally just picking up billions of seaweed over here. Oh, and I don't rise. I say that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, I'm, I'm only here so I can see when Elliot comes down and tries to go into his house there. I'm not having any luck, so I might just buzz a recorder right here and, uh, hey, another piece of driftwood. Did that count? Uh, it did. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah. Maybe, maybe here in just a sec. I'd hate to do it, but oh, man. I don't know. Maybe, maybe tomorrow we'll, uh, we'll donate the stuff to the train station just so we get as much time out of this as possible. 
But like I said, let, let me keep fishing here. I don't know when in the world Elliot's going to show up, if he ever is. Oh, well, it's Friday. I don't know if he's in the... I guess I can go to Saloon and check that out. We got a Joja Cola there. I don't think that counted, right? Uh, yeah, still five, so... I don't know. I guess we can go to the, to the Saloon here in just a second. It's 1230. Oh, wait. No, there he is. Wait, is that... Yeah, that is. Broke his... Hey, Elliot. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Give him the bok choy. Give him the bok choy. Boom. No, do not eat it. Give him... A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. All right, nice. So, golly, it took forever to find you. Anyways, it's 12.40 p.m. right now. This is probably like the... Oh, and by the way, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm getting greedy. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I know there's a heckin' thing over here. Oh, gosh, it's 1 a.m. Ah, grab it. Ah, get the heck out of there. Go, 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 go. I don't think we're going to make it. It's 1.10. What? It just turned 1. It's already 1.10. Oh, gosh, it's terrible. I shouldn't have done that. My greed is going to my head. Ah, I don't know. Maybe I should have like an emergency thing of coffee in my inventory. Like all the Oh, jeez, 130. Ah, oh, man, this is terrible. Literally every single night. I'm running against the clock 140. It might be 150 when we get to the actual farm. Maybe. I'm like, I don't think there's a penalty whenever you fall. Oh, gosh, 150. Oh, my gosh. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, my gosh. Hurry. Go, 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 go. Oh, my gosh. How did I do it? How did I do it? Go to bed. <laughs> yes, please. Hey, there we go. Yes, like I wanted. Level six farming. We got watering can proficiency, hoe proficiency, and we got the hardwood fence now. I don't know if we want to make that. It's going to be kind of expensive to get all that hardwood to make that, but definitely want to make a fence in general, right? If anything, it makes it look cool and better and stuff like that, as well as to make a uh, paths out of wood or stone. Definitely want to do that. We have a new recipe for a cheese press, even though I'll have a way to make, like, we're getting that way, just like the mayonnaise machine. We got that way before we got the heckin chicken coop and stuff like that. The game is thinking I'm progressing faster than I actually am. <laughs> and then here's the big boy right here, the quality sprinkler. Nice. So we can finally make those. I don't know how expensive they are. I assume they're pretty, uh, oh gosh, what? The spreading weeds have caused damage to my farm. Oh, wow. Look at this. What, what is the actual damage that happened here? I mean, I know we have a path down here, and I think, I think, yeah, like right here-ish. Like we just go down and, yeah, just cut down like these things right here, and boom, there you go. There's Marnie's Ranch. So we, I'm like, we definitely want to get this pathway done. Like next episode or something like that, definitely want to do that, right? But I don't know where the spreading weeds is actually. Oh, hey, look at the eggplant over here. Nice. Eggplants are done. Corn is ready to go. Anything else? I don't think so, but hey, quality sprinkler. Let's get a sneak peek of that. Where is that at? Where in the world is that? Oh, here it is right there. Oh, man. Gold bar, iron bar, refined quartz. How do you get refined quartz? It's pretty good, though. It waters eight adjacent, eight, eight adjacent tiles, just like this one right here. Which, by the way, won't have anything planted right there. Definitely want to do that. We'll worry about that next episode. Check up on the chickens, though. I think they're out of food today. Definitely want to remember that at the beginning of next episode, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, hey, we got eggs. You guys. Oh, well, my inventory is full. What? <laughs> Whatever. Let's go down. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to worry about that next episode. But we finally got eggs. These guys turn into adults like super duper fast. Like, look at this. One month looks really happy today. That's good. Memers looks really happy today. <laughs> and we have, uh, oh, yeah. Next episode, when we do clean out a bunch of the uh, the stuff like this and make that uh, that pathway out of stone, definitely going to be getting a lot more hay because remember, we did empty the dispenser uh, earlier on this episode. Real quick, before we do end off the episode, I do want to check about the cave. Okay, just more of the same. There's that purple mushroom. Definitely want to remember to give that to the uh, Demetrius bundle or whatever. the Some sort of bundle. <laughs> some sort of research bundle over at the uh, community center. Definitely want to remember that next episode, but... Until then, I guess we'll end off this episode right here as I have a full inventory of stuff. <laughs> and uh, some of it we definitely want to go give to the, uh, and I doubt, hold on. Some of it we do need to go give to the railroad, like, like recycling bin or whatever. Uh, so we have literal trash right there. I don't know if, that, I doubt it counted, right? Well, six pieces, I don't know. I don't, I don't think that counted, but uh, put that right there. And then there's the driftwood. I think it's the same number, right? Yeah, six pieces right there, yeah. So you, Oh, and we have two days left to do that, so we, yeah, we need to hurry the heck up with that. But it is doable. It's a lot more doable than getting a thousand stone for Robin, right? But either way, like I was trying to say right there, uh, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoy the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as next episode of Stardew Valley comes out. 
so you don't miss it. Look at the leaves blowing across the screen because all the leaves are starting to fall off all the trees over here. And I wonder towards the end of fall, if you actually see some like bare trees, that'd be pretty cool. A little bit of detail if you see that, but either way. Oh, there you look at the wind. Yeah, we saw in the weather report that it's going to be windy today. Cool little bit of detail there. But either way, I already did the outro right, like the full outro right there, I believe, right? So thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, oh go right here. There we go. You can see Zongus a little bit. <laughs> oh, bye there.